perfect. All right, it started raining a little bit. Um, that don't stop the grind. So it's misting a little bit. We're still gonna put in some work. It's not too bad to where it's gonna stop, you know, our mute movements and stuff or get us sick or anything, but um, we'll probably won't be out here longer than normal. Just did a really simple like review of the heavy ball, but I'll probably go through and do some drills with it, kind of show the difference. But yeah, so we're just gonna do some form shooting, put up some shots and then do a short 1v1 maybe two games to seven and then yeah that's it because it's starting to rain but yeah so here's the difference right this is my ball it's a spalding pro tech indoor outdoor ball uh which i normally do the change in direction drills the double tap right to a shot now that went fairly smooth let's try it with the heavy ball you can already hear the difference so Ah, God, this is different, bro. Dev, what you do, bro? I ain't gonna lie, it feels like I have to throw every ounce of strength into this. So. And the shooting, bro, <laughs> you gotta realize, this is about maybe two times the weight of a normal basketball. So imagine, you know, the medicine balls you do rush and twist with. Imagine like, playing basketball with that. So like normally where you see me, you know, do my, my Hardaway cross. Bro, let me try with this. Oh my. Bro, this is different. I like it, bro. I like it. Review on the heavy ball. I'll have a full in-depth review once I've gone longer with it. But you can tell the difference holding this versus a normal ball. Like one hand feels weighted. The other one doesn't feel like it's really holding anything after you do it a while, but man, the effort you gotta put into the heavy ball, I recommend starting your workouts with this um, or finish your however you, you know, program your training and then the normal ball. I wouldn't play a 1v1 with this. You can if you want, it'll be a fun challenge. Well, this is like a four pound ball. So, you know, recommended for workouts, 10 out of 10 for now. We'll see how it goes as time goes on. But let's get into the rest of the vlog. First, first exercise, so I'm gonna come in here. Well, I mean, we'll do form shooting first. Let's get our, our form shots. So this line right here, aim for all net or back rim it in. And we'll go, I'll go first and do mine. And this will kinda make sure you get the full form and not just the standing, but a full form. And that'll help you with your touch on your shots. So, try to get 10 and then come over here. It's time for you to do it. That's one. That's two. Why are you shooting? Shoot like you would a normal jump shot, but don't jump. So you should come here, it should be fluid. So it should look something like this. <clears throat> you really were. Don't lean forward. You don't want to lean forward on a jump shot. Go straight up with it. Yeah. Then we'll do our 10 free throws. Let me set my watch to work out. Hey, Fitbit, put a basketball setting. We'll do our 10 free throws. Make or miss, it doesn't matter. This is just for form purposes. <clears throat> so I'm just doing like five. <clears throat> You're just doing the form. It's not, today's not a shooting focus day. There. So this workout, I'm gonna be doing with the, the end of the lab Hulk heavy ball, um, just to work on a few things, just to give myself a challenge. You can come here, attack downhill. So boom, boom, to another float, hezzy, come down, skip, crossover, pull up jumper. So first we're gonna do it, going to the left side. Um, 
because we're right-handed. So that way you can right to left cross over, straight to pull up jumper. Then we'll flip the cones and go left side to a pull up jumper coming left to right. So that's how that'll work. Let me get the heavy ball. So. Oh. It's, it's different folks. You lose the ball too. It's the shooting. Lord. Bro. Now I'm not flipping the cones. I'm not flipping the cones. I know it's just reverse. So <laughs> you want to shoot with normal form, but of course coming from a, a pull-up jumper, right? Like crossover. Like you have momentum on your side to go up. But as soon as them forearms kick in for your shot, you realize you messed up. Ooh. Brother. <sighs> Wrap it up. Y'all saw the example, so he's gonna do that. That's gonna make the exercise way harder if you put on gloves. So here's the gloves on, that'll make it harder. He's not ready for the Hulk ball yet, but garden gloves kind of do the same thing. Uh, just not as weighty, it just detaches your touch from the ball, so go. So pound tween, attack downhill, behind the backstop, attack downhill, cross. It's harder. We'll have you do this five times. So we'll go two times, uh, this, two times left to right, two times right to left, and then two times each without gloves. So go. You need to be able to move fluidly from a cross to a jumper or a cross and keep running to the basket. 